So my mom died this year. Um, as you can see, I'm taking uh, page one from the stand-up handbook, keeping it light, <laughs> keeping it light. Um, and losing a parent is tough, it really is. I, but I, I will tell you what's a little harder I'm finding uh, than losing a parent is um, navigating through my dad's newfound singlehood, I guess you'd call it. And don't get me wrong, I am 100% cool with companionship. Like, I mean, how many more days does my dad have left? Good, that are good. He's 84. So if he wants to sit with some woman on the couch watching reruns of Matlock, I'm totally cool with that. <laughs> it's not what's happening. It's not what's happening at all. So he was, you know, he was, you know, normal, depressed and sad, and you know, he's slowly getting better. And he called me up one day, and he's like. Uh, Hey, Kyle, how you doing? Hey, Dad, how you feeling? Ah, uh, all right, Kyle. You, you remember a while back, my legs were hurting me real bad, and, uh, you know, you, I couldn't sleep? Yeah, Dad, I remember that. Yeah, you, you took me down to that uh, that sketchy part of town uh, where, you, where, you, where you got, went to that suppository where you got me those gummies. <laughs> so, well, it's a dispensary, Dad, but yes, I, <laughs> I remember what happened. I remember I said, they, they, they're okay, right? No, no, they're great, Kyle, they're great. Do you need any more? No, 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 I got plenty. Dad, you there? Ah, Kyle, this is embarrassing. I don't even know how to, I don't even know, I shouldn't even bother you, Dad. I am, I am your favorite son. <laughs> you can tell me anything. And see, that, my friends, was my mistake. So I was like, all right, yeah, Kyle, so uh, remember I was telling you about that lady friend I've been having breakfast every once in a while, the, you're down at the, at the, at the, at the community thing. See, yeah, I remember. He goes, well, uh, she slept over last night in my bed with me. <laughs> now, what, what I should have done at that point, I should have walked over to the bathroom and taken my phone and thrown it in the toilet. <laughs> That's what I should have done. Because had I done that, I wouldn't have heard the next sentence, which is tattooed on my brain for the rest of my life. He's like, uh, Kyle, jeez, oh, I don't even know how to say Kyle, I, I couldn't perform. Oh, no. And I'm, I'm not getting it. I'm thinking perform. Are those two putting together some kind of act that I'm not aware of? <laughs> I mean, is there, is there could be some kind of like so, a talent show over at, at the nursing home? I, I, so, so I'm like, I'm like, well, hold on. And now he's going full force because why not? Because this schmuck said you can tell me anything. <laughs> and he starts, he goes, well, I think it's okay, Kyle. It's all right. She wasn't really mad because she said that... Uh, she said, I made her feel good with all the other things I did. <laughs> all the other. This son of a bitch takes 15 minutes to get up off the couch, and suddenly it's 50 shades of gray over at the nursing home. <laughs> so I blacked out at that point. I came to when he's asking, he's like, uh, Kyle, can, uh, so, yeah, can you get me some Viagra? I said, Dad, I love you. I do. And I'll get you all the gummies you need. I will go down and see the guy who hangs out under the overpass, and I will score you all the crystal meth you could need, you could ever want. But I am never, ever, ever, ever getting my dad penis pills. So I ended up getting my dad penis pills. 